Tonight on the Road Hard Roadhouse, got the motor, LM7 4L65E transmission, low mileage, going to get it with the AC, going to get it with all the wiring, going to get it with the fuel or the gas pedal, uh, fuel lines, uh, not that I'll be able to use a lot of them, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get them anyway. He's, he's giving them to me, so I'm going to take them. He's giving me the AC to condenser to see if I can uh, somehow... Uh, uh, have my fabricator fabricated to the front of that dang car so uh and if not i'll just get another one but uh i'm really excited this is a good episode just a uh, short clip on the motor Runs pretty smooth. Like I told you, I have not started, I promise you. I'm not, I don't like lying to people. I told you I wasn't going to start the car you got here. Yeah. I got one over here, it's got 900,000 miles on it. 900? Is that Tahoe? Yeah, it's got the original motor. Just one more thing, I did get the, uh, the 6.2 Camaro SS uh, exhaust manifolds, which are what most people have had really good luck with on the Impala, or at least our year of Impala. So uh, I'm sure there's other things that can go on it. Uh, I'm sure you can spend a lot more money on it, but I'm not looking for a ton, you know, a ton, a ton of horsepower out of this car. Um, I am looking for it to be reliable uh, to go on those long trips. So uh, I think the uh, 6.2 uh, manifolds from the uh, Camaro, the, the factory ones, will be just fine for me until I, uh, until I get everything running and driving and everything. And maybe next summer I'll look at it for um, you know, maybe some sort of headers. But as of right now, I am going to get this thing running with the Camaro SS stock uh, manifolds. I am pretty excited about this coming weekend. We're going to have the motor transmission here. Uh, the exhaust manifolds from the uh, Camaro SS and uh, we're going to sit this motor in here and we're going to try to see where the suspension sits so far. So far I'm liking the suspension where I had, where it's been at but uh, yeah, I really want that front end just to come down just a little bit more. Uh, of course we're not going to have the front end on it but the motor and transmission is probably the main set of the, uh, the, the weight that's going to be going in there. I got an uh, LM7 so it's going to be an iron block so it's not aluminum. Still lighter than probably the 327 that was in there, possibly, but uh, I am still looking to see. I'm excited to see where the trans where the uh, suspension is going to sit. So uh, look forward to this weekend's uh, videos. I'd like to thank you all for uh, subscribing and liking and watching my videos. Uh, show your friends. Uh, we're going to be like I said, we're going to be doing a lot more in the future on uh, more LSs. Um, I talked to a guy tonight about a 454 LS. Um, not that I'm saying I may do it for my 69 uh, Chevelle, but uh, it sure was tempting to look at it. And another thing, um, once again, as always, if you're going to ride her hard, don't put her away wet.